Hello, Funkin' Pip. Welcome to Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. As you saw, we finished Joker 1. Didn't do the after game. But who really needs to? Well, we're going to be doing number 2 right here, right now, today, for you guys. So, I should explain how the um, timing is going to work. I'm going to initially start with just 20 minutes per episode. However, if it turns out we're not getting enough done, we're going to switch it back to the half hour episodes. It's just going to depend on how much we're getting done, how much, you know, all that. Number one, not too bad. This one, very different. So... I, d I don't really know how that's going to work or anything. I know you guys are all interested in seeing me play a game I've never actually played before in my life, which is three. And I'm excited too. But the good thing about Joker 2 is I've actually only played it once. I beat it, but only once. It's not like Joker where I've played it hundreds of times, so... Most of this is going to be new for me. Or, well... I don't remember it, so... It's going to appear new. Aww. I can't use my mouse. I'm slaying. Oh well. Alright, we're just going to be regular old funky. <clears throat> There's a certain gifted individual able to make monsters into their allies and control them as if they were another part of themselves. They are known as Monster Scouts. The tournament which will decide the world's greatest monster, the greatest scout is about to begin. The Monster Scout Challenge. In this arena, Monster Scouts will lead their finest monsters into battle. Only the bravest scout. They both complete mastery over their monsters. Can achieve victory and realize the supreme dream of being named champion. As the tournament approaches, the skies above the arena are fill, full of airships, each of which carries scouts in pursuit of the ultimate scouting dream. A story begins as an ambitious young scout waits to aboard his flight. This takes place right after Joker, I believe. Music's always great. I fucking love the music for this series. What a miscreant. You have got to be kidding me. I can't arrive at the Monster Scout Challenge in a flying junkyard. Sorry to keep you waiting, miss. The name's Mayday. Rex Mayday. I'm the captain of this fine vessel. It's a real honor for us to welcome the defending champion on board. Go on inside, miss. Make yourself at home. Um, I'm actually gonna take a rain check. Thanks all the same. I'm not too confident this rusty wreck of an airship will even make it in one piece. Don't worry. I'll just get Mummy to charter me in luxury airline airship. Oh, that's the way it is. To be honest, miss, I'm kind of relieved you decided not to fly with us. Huh? We're carrying a lot of cargo, and I was looking for ways to lighten the load. Now that you've done me a favor and canceled, I'm confident I can get the other passengers there in record time. Hold on, I tried to say that I'm heavy. Captain, I'll load the rest of the cargo, and we'll be we'll be just a boot ready to go. Roger that. Oh god, that lag. Hm. Well, I'm happy I can relieve you of that dreadful burden of carrying me. Good luck piling this rusty wreck all the way to the tournament. Guess by the time you chug into view, the tournament will be over and done with. What in blazes either? I'm getting weaker or these crates are getting heavier. Yeet, main.
I've heard she had an attitude, but sheesh. And to think she's the reigning champion. Aye, well, that's my scouts for you. That strange breed now, mistake. But I can't help feeling a wee bit misty eye. But with my scout challenge, ruined the corner and all. Ah, uh, happy days. We didn't have two gold coins to rub together, but we had dreams. We'd sneak onto airships just like this one and head to the challenge. Aye, and if the captain ever caught you, he'd have your guts for garters. Now it's us flying those scouts to the challenge as they go chasing their dream. Funny how life turns out. Oh, well, let's save the soldier for another day. The passengers will be getting antsy. Come on, let's get the albatross up in the air where she belongs. Here's the rule when you're uh, stowing aboard a ship, you always wait till it's off and in the air before you jump out. Because chances are they're not going to kick you out while you're, you know, uh, flying. So. Oh look, it's us. He's just like, oh, thank God I can stretch. <laughs> but damn, these are some pretty big ass uh, boxes. Like a damn, son. Ooh. This map of the airship is very nice. Looks like someone's in here. It might be best to head back up. Yep. Passengers talking on the upper floor. Oh, Countess, darling, where in the world are you going? Come back at once. Some of the filthy boxes down there. Someone's coming. Might be good idea to get back in that box. Yes, we're gonna hide in the box. Hide in the box. Hide in the box. Hide in the box. What is it, Countess? What made you rush down here? You see, there's nothing here. You are in a peculiar mood, Pugsy Wugsy. Let's head back up to the passenger's quarters. This place is filthy. Countess, what has gotten into you? Is there something in this crate? Free ride to the Monster Scout Challenge, eh? You're the captain of this rusty bucket, right? I insist you make this scruffy stowaway walk the plank this instant. Whoa there, hold your horses. Let's not go crazy here. Come on, you're a Monster Scout yourself, Miss Glider. You must be able to understand where this kid's coming from. A burning desire to compete that would make someone try to hitch a free ride? Captain, in case you had noticed, I am a woman of elegance and distinction. I have not the faintest idea what is going on in the scruffy stowaway's head. Listen, I'm not saying he's gonna get away, Scott. Free stowing away is a serious offense, and Captain Rex made a bugs. So here's the deal. I'm happy to announce that we have a new crew member on board the Albatross. Our freeloading young friend's gonna pay his fare by working as a rookie deckhand. He'll be at your beck and call for the duration of the flight. Sound fair? So, rookie, do we have a deal? Yes, sir. Huh, I still think you should have walked the plank. 
But so be it. He'll just have to attend to my every win. whim. Why does it make such a weird noise when it's like floating away? It's like... Doo -doo, doo -doo. Okay, rookie. Hold on. I just realized you're working for me and I don't know your name. What's that? Funky, huh? Well, I prefer rookie. I want you to give me a full debriefing. Let's head to the flight deck. Yes, sir. I get it, you've got dreams where you don't have two gold coins to rub together. That's why you had no choice but travel stowaway class. You know, you remind me a little of myself in my wild youth. We all think I'm getting soft, I'm gonna work you hard till we land. And your first job is to introduce yourself to everybody as our rookie deckhand. Passengers plus the ship's engineer makes uh, five people to speak to. Listen to what they say, got it? Okay, rookie, get to work. We are now a rocky deckhand aboard the Albatross. Because we are, how you say, awesome. Oh. So five. Oh wow, it's a bank or anything. It's all broke. Bucky introduced himself explain what he's doing on board. Huh, did you really expect to get away with that ridiculous scheme? You're lucky that captain is such a soft-hearted nincompoop. I'd have tossed you overboard. Still, I'm sure we'll come up with some ways uh, for you to earn your passage. In fact, you can count on it. Bucky introduced him. Oh, hello there. I'm Melanie, and I got a job at the Monster Scare Challenge. I'm in charge of, well, uh, no one's exactly explained what me job is yet. Must have really wanted a challenge down way and all. If you ever need any an assistant or anything, you just let me know, alright? <clears throat> oh ho ho, greetings, greetings, Eugene Poole at your service. I'm a connoisseur of the Monster Scare Challenge. Fascinated by it, I am. Gather you're an aspiring Monster Scare, is that correct? Well, I think you might be interested in what we have at the back of the ship. Come with me, dear boy. My god. That fourth smile. Little Monster Paradise. This dear boy is the Monster Pen. Really gets the pulse raining, does it not? Racing, does it not? Gouts can keep any monsters they befriended here. Any Scout airship worth its salt comes equipped with the Monster Pen. This splendid facility is very high tech. Just take a look at that. Scouts can use that computer to add or remove monsters from the pen. I trust you'll be able to store your own monsters here in the very near future. Oh, they're all so adorable. I know that little guy. He seems shy. Alright. Back upstairs. Uh, I think I'm gonna make the first episode a half hour for you guys since it's. nothing's happened. Alright. I know where the engineer is. Gotta find that squirrely boy. There you are. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Archie. If something's ancient, antique, or arcane, that, uh, then I want to know about it. I travel the world seeking to learn more about monsters and their origins. I can't wait to see the unusual monsters at the Monster Scout Challenge. Alright, Rory Belland. Oh, so it's he, is it? The rotten lad he sold his me self aboard my ship. Uh, Rory Bellows is my name. I'm chief engineer of this fine vessel and didn't you forget about it. Young Rex may be a big softy, but you can aim for the wall over my eyes. There'll be no free rides aboard the Albatross, he'll pay your passage. Oh my god. So 
shortcut. Looks like you finished talking to everyone. In that case, you're gonna need a new job. Someone, anyone, I insist, someone help me this instant. She's now what she wants. Well, I'll talk about your duties later, rookie. For now, go find out what Miss Gilder wants. Is it Gilder or Glider? I don't even know. Whatever's the matter, my little pugsy, what, my wugsy pugsy? Just look at her countess and her most frightful titsy. What's, what's just what on? Oh, my pair of knees. The ship is shaking most alarmingly. What in the world is going on? Shake most alarmingly. What's going on? I was hoping Kevin was one of the best. I hope I was not misinformed. What's happening to the ship? Uh, look at the shaking. Have we entered a storm system? Well, let's go see what Rory bellows. Oh, what are you doing down here? We have to check on my engines, laddie. We'll go straight back up to that and start worrying about your own business. Cravens. This doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good at all. Get to the bridge of the cabin. What's happening? Do you hear the impact damage of my engines? And we may be heading for a crash landing. Quickly, to the captain. What are you playing at, you daft loon? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Yeah, since they were born with. Nope. That's me. Daft AF. <laughs> That's as spot for those of you who don't know. What? Rory says we should prepare to abandon ship. Um, the thing is, Rocky, I'm afraid it may already be too late. The rudder's no longer responding. The pitch and yaw are out of control. I, I can't hold it. We're going to... Wog. We're gonna wog. Wah, 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 wog. Want to save your car in a vector? Yes, please. Oh, look, it's us running as a uh, saving screen. That's adorable. Pugsy Wugsy, are you saving us? how conveniently that uh, stuff is placed. I wonder if anyone died. I see a chest. Oh yes. Uh, I see a chest. Uh, I see a chest. Oh yes. I, I see a chest. We got an herb. Oh, yes, that we got an herb. Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> I know, it's a little annoying. Come on. Where the fuck are you? There we go. Oh, this will be the most peaceful we can- Ooh, what's this? A 
pinball. Curiosity killed the captain, not the monster scout, examining these curious stones to learn new abilities and commands. Pairs blue icons. And now we know Zoom! A zoom, 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 baby boom. Teleport to previously visited regions. Awesome. See, this is where they actually make, uh, like, Zoom and all that actually useful. Like, this probably has a chest up here. Would be my guess. Nope, just an herb, it looks like. Or an antidote. A medicinal herb, nice. Oh, we got two uh, free heals right here. So, I mean, I'll take it. All right, let's see who's left alive. If anybody's left alive. Terry, the ship is a mess. Stop it, I don't want to keep clicking on it. All right, nobody is here. <sighs> Let's check the back. There's one monster in the monster pen, but otherwise this place is empty. Come, search for client data. No user found. User not registered. Okay. Okay, I guess that's not for me. Um, guess we're gonna go downstairs. Nothing here. This is just a shortcut towards the top. So nobody's on the ship. Uh, is some of the there? Boots, it's the wee stowaway. I'm glad to see you still with drawing breath. Looking right as rain, laddie. Let's thank the goddy, goddess for small mercies. There's not a soul on board the ship, and you're the first survivor I've found. Ugh, it's grand that we're alive, but we're still stuck in the big old jungle. Now we just need to find the others. James, what's happening? What could that have been? It didn't look good, whatever it was. Just what manner of place have we landed up in? This island's a rough place. We'll need to work together to stay in the chance. Anywho, doesn't look like the time to be doing any exploring. Let's rest up and consider our options up in the morrow. Wait, wake up, you wee stowaway! Stowaway, you've rested enough. I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. My poor mind's been racing, but I've come up with a decisive plan of action. We're going into the jungle, laddie. It'll be dangerous, but there might be other survivors requiring assistance. I'm going to have to be busy myself repairing this stricken vessel. While I'm up to my elbows in grease, you'll need to make your own way around. If that's why I think it's best if I give you a wee tour of the area. Come on, laddie, time's a-wasting. Ugh, I nearly forgot. You haven't got a single monster to your name, have you? You best come with me. I. 
give me my first monster. Now you can pick up monsters to take with you when you're off adventuring. Looks like there's only one wee beastie left. Go on and take him with you. I didn't even know well who it belongs to him, but this is an emergency. I'm sure the owner wouldn't mind. If you want to learn more about the monster pen, just fiddle around with the computer a bit. I didn't much care for the smell in here, but I'll wait for you by the door. <gasps> Monster band. Yes, yes. Now you'll be blessed with an abundance of answers. Hi. Thank you, Punky. We look forward to seeing you again. Now, why didn't you ready yourself with for the battle still to come? In my trunk in the engine room, you'll find a weapon you're welcome to use. Remember, there's no point in sending your wee beasties into a fight if you even equip their weapons. Waiting outside the ship for one of your wedding. So, as we find passengers and things, they'll allow us to go through their ship, basically. I think. I mean, the Countess and the fucking lady will probably never let us have her shit, but that's because she's a bitch. A Cypress staff. The most generic of weapons. Jasper's your name, eh? Alright, so as you can see, things look quite differently. This is closer to what I'm used to seeing. But not quite there yet. Yes, climbing. Are you ready for battle, laddie? There are slimes all about this area. You just need to get nice and close to pick a fight with them. Just be careful. Slimes may just be a wee blob, but they can still hit hard. You can save at any time, except for certain story events. I love how last night there was literally nothing, and now they're literally everywhere. First things first, we're the relics. And we got ourselves a Slimy. No, Damn it, they're not gonna nickname them for me. Rude. What's this then? Can it be that you've already got a new beasties? You're a natural scout, laddie! You don't need me telling you what to do. Ready to plunge into the jungle, laddie? Let's stop across that river. I'll go first and wait for you to catch up. We can go to the tree predation. We're not going there just yet. We got some monsters to be fighting, eh? Yeah, these are being like one shot. That's not bad. The amount of uh, experience so far. I mean, obviously we'll be able to get better experience in the next area, but I would at least like one or two levels before we move forward. Simply for the extra uh, squishiness that we'll have. Plus we only have like 30 more seconds in this today's episode, so I'll probably do two or three more fights, and then we'll call it a day. Well, for you guys, it's a day. For me, it's getting ready for the next episode. Alright. Both are level two, that's nice. I would just like, I don't know, one more level? Let's speed this up. Since we're in a hurry. 
Yeah, I want to get them both level two. So. Come on, you wee laddie. Oh my god, controlling his walking while I'm like, you know, speeding up is just ridiculous. And it appears like they're not going to be, um, they don't aggro you. You know how usually they have that aggro option? Or they just chase the fuck after you? Alright, one more fight and then we'll call it a day. Well, we'll call it an episode, I guess. Can't really call it a day, eh? There we go! Alright, everybody! That has been the start! Of Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2, as I will just call it Joker 2 from now on, because there's no real point in calling it, you know, Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 2. DQM Joker 2. DQMJ2. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, thank you everybody for, uh, watching. Uh, I hope you all are enjoying. I'm excited to delve right back on into this mystery dungeon with you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and until the next time, everybody. Funker purple.